Hello, my name is Victor Grant. I'm with Checkpoint Technologies. Today, I'm going to show you a quick demo on how to add a standalone load generator to your controller environment for Load Runner 12.5.3. You will need your standalone load generator's DNS name or IP address for a later use. Once you have your controller open, you will need to navigate to the load generator icon on the toolbar and click it. The next window that appears should list all of your generators for your environment. As you can see here, all we have listed is the default generator on the controller. Next, click Add. In the name box, we're going to input the DNS name or IP address for your standalone load generator. Now click OK. As you can see, now our standalone load generator is listed. We need to select that generator and click Connect. The status should read Ready. If it fails, it will direct you to the output window on the Run tab to see why it failed. Now click Close. Now we're going to select the Load Generators column for our group. Click the down arrow and add our load generator to this group. Next we're going to navigate to the Run tab. In this window, you should be able to see the errors if your load generator failed to load. You're going to click the number. The output window will appear and show you why your load generator failed to connect. We're going to close this window. Next, click on Start Scenario. Now navigate to the load generator icon again on the toolbar to see that we are actively communicating with our standalone load generator. As you can see, two view users are in use, now four. This was a quick demo on how to add a standalone load generator to your controller environment. My name is Victor Grant. I'm with Checkpoint Technologies. We'll see you next time.